Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Christmas Advent day number three. In today's video we're going to be drawing some white fur and I'm going to show you all of the tips and techniques and everything on how to render this type of coloured fur. If you want to see this tutorial and other tutorials then head on over to my Patreon page. I have this one as well as a load of others in full real time so you can follow along with me as we're drawing. As always, all the materials for this video are listed in the description below should you wish to check those out. So we're going to start this video in the same manner as I did for the black fur and I'll also leave a link to that tutorial in the description for you guys. I've drawn out a circle and what we're going to do is just fill the circle and I'm going to talk you through the layering process and the colours and everything that I use to render realistic looking white fur. So the main colours that I use are the warm grey 1, warm grey 2, warm grey 3 in the polychromos. I also use a Caran d'Ache Luminance white pencil and I also accent a few areas with a light violet pencil from the polychromos. This pencil is actually discontinued so any kind of lilac or light purple colour will do and um, be perfect for this. So what I do to begin with is just lay down a base layer using the warm grey one pencil working in the direction of the fur. In this case the fur is going upwards so it's going in a vertical format rather than horizontal. Once I've put the first layer down of the warm grey one, I then go over and add a second layer of the warm grey one. When I'm using this colour as a base layer, all I'm doing is putting minimal pressure through the pencil, so I'm holding it really far back towards the end of the pencil to limit the amount of pressure that I can put through. Holding the pencil in this way will allow you to get a nice coverage and you'll get a nice even tone throughout when you're layering. When I'm putting down these layers, I'm also shading back and forth. I'm not going in and adding any fur details or anything, it's just a basic shading motion, just going back and forth with the pencil, making sure that I keep all of my lines loose and keep the pressure really, really light. I then go over and add a further layer of the warm grey one, and this time I add it in the areas that I want to be the darkest on this circle. So I've added a further layer along the bottom of the circle, and I've added a few patches throughout the circle as well. Once I've built up the tone with the warm grey one, I then switch pencils and go straight in with a warm grey two pencil. And with this pencil, I add it in those darkest areas. So again, I add this on the bottom edge of the circle and I add it on the two or three dark patches that I've added in the circle as well. I try and blend this colour out into the other layers as well just by using a very very light pressure again holding my pencil right towards the end and just using a gentle back and forth motion just to try and shade it in and keep a really nice tone. So I'm trying to blend the two tones together you can see I've got some darker patches and then I've got some lighter patches so I'm going to try and keep the transition between them really nice and blended and light. Once I've done that with the warm grey 2, I then go in with a warm grey 3 pencil and again I'm adding this into the darkest areas. With this pencil though, instead of just using a shading motion, I'm starting to add fur lines. So I'm starting to add lines going from the bottom of the circle and upwards and from upwards downwards. So I'm keeping them vertical lines and I'm also just slightly bending them just to give the fur a nice realistic look. So I'm just going off at a slight angle as well, just to try and keep it looking really natural and realistic. I'm adding this pencil in the darkest parts as well. So you can see that I've sectioned off a few clumps. You can see that I'm darkening up the left hand little section here and I'm just using exactly the same motion as we was for the bottom of the circle. I'm just going back and forth, just making those tiny little fur lines. For this example, I'm drawing short fur, but I will be also uploading tutorials for different types of fur, so long fur, curly fur, fur. so if you want to learn them, follow those tutorials when they're uploaded in the advent videos. But for this one, I've also added a very, very slight curve to my fur just to make it look all the more realistic. So in, you don't want to keep all of your fur lines going in one direction. You want, you want to keep them ever so slightly going off at a very slight angle. If you have them all going straight and all parallel to one another, it's going to look really contrived and it's going to look so unrealistic. So you want to try and keep the strokes looking natural. The best way to do this is just to let your pencil or your wrist just to flow really, really naturally and just add those lines in. So you want to keep them going in a very, very slight angle rather than parallel to one another all the way along. You also want to make sure that you really overlap some of these lines as well. 
So I'm just building up the colours here with the warm grey 3. I've also added in a little bit of white to add a little bit of highlight. So by using the Caran d'Ache white pencil you can add some highlights back into the white fur and it also acts as a burnishing method. So if you use a fairly hard pressure with the white pencil over some areas you can really blend them out so they look really smooth. This is great if you've got really soft fluffy looking fur. If you've got wiry looking fur then you might want to not burnish or blend quite as much. So with the purple colour, I like to add this in the darkest areas and the lightest areas. You can see where I've added the light violet that it just gives it a little hint of something extra. It just makes the colours pop a little bit more and I feel like it just gives the white fur a little bit of extra tone. I also add the light violet pencil into the lightest areas, so the really, really highlighted areas. As I feel, again, this just gives the colour a little bit more of an extra pop. I find that it makes the white fur a little bit more interesting. So now I'm just going in with a yellow toned pencil. In my case I'm using the raw umber 10% from the Caran d'Ache Luminance pencils. I'm just showing you that you can add a slightly yellower tone over your fur. For example if your subject is standing in a really low setting sunlight you might have a slightly yellower tone cast or if your fur is just generally a yellower tone anyway. You can add a yellow tone over and it just gives it again that little bit of extra oomph. Again I would use this just using fur lines or shading over the top just glazing the pencil very very lightly just so you get a very subtle hint of that yellow pencil. So that's it for this tutorial guys. Hopefully this has helped you when you are drawing your white fur. They're just simple colours to use, just make sure you stick to greys. Don't be afraid to go too dark with your grey pencils in the shadow areas. You want to build up a nice contrast between your lights and your darks. That's what makes fur look really realistic. So don't be scared to go too dark in the shadow areas by using too much grey. And don't be too scared to leave the paper free of a lot of layers. So if you've got a really light area, don't add too many layers. Just make sure that you've got a nice hint of a, a colour there. So just add a warm grey one or a cold grey one or something. As always, thanks for watching this video. If you have any suggestions on advent videos that you would like me to create, then pop them as a comment down below and I will see what I can do for you. I will see you in tomorrow's advent video. Bye!